Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and today I'm super excited. I've been waiting for this day for months. Today we get to talk about the beginning of Summer Game Fest. It has now been dated, and because of that we get to actually talk about our kickoff event uh, that's going to be happening all throughout Summer Game Fest called Prime Gaming Fest. And I even get to show you some of the stuff that we'll be giving away during the event. I am stoked for this. For those who don't know what Prime Gaming Fest is, buckle up because we have a lot to talk about. But before we get into that, I want to thank today's sponsor, well, Into the AM. Into the AM makes awesome printed tees like this. Also solid color shirts. They are pre-shrunk, super soft, premium t-shirts. Everyone that's ever bought one through my link down in the description has said nothing but glowing things and they are actually part of my weekly attire. I absolutely love Into the AM and if you would like to get 10% off, go to intotheam.com slash Nintendo Prime 10 on your first order and just enjoy the shirts. They're, they're honestly some of the best shirts I've ever worn. Now, what is going on is Jeff Keighley and the Summer Game Fest people have announced with this trailer behind me that June 9th is the kickoff event for Summer Game Fest where they're going to have the Day of Devs and then obviously the big uh, showcase. And this is going to come before everything else. So Summer Game Fest is doing it a little different this year, uh, so they claim. Honestly, Summer Game Fest has basically replaced E3 at this point. So what happens is there's a big kickoff event on June 9th that'll have a bunch of trailers and all this stuff showing off a whole bunch of various things. The Day of Devs is usually a day of where they have a bunch of developer interviews as well. And then they kind of go on for multiple, multiple days after that. We know the following day they're going to uh, be hosting the Tribeca Game Festival, uh, which is going to be showing off a whole bunch of stuff. Notably, Cuphead DLC will be there, but a bunch of other amazing indie games as well. It seems to be the day of the indie games we know pc gaming shows actually slotting in sometime in there uh they haven't announced the official day but pc gaming show did say they're going to be joining this uh, i presume digital or devolver digital is going to be part of this as well they were part of summer game fest last year uh so their they're little little show will slot in somewhere we know microsoft and bethesda their showcase is slotting in on the that sunday june 12th and obviously more and more things are going to be announced here over the coming weeks but here's the thing we now know when it starts june 9th which means we can now actually talk about our kickoff event and honestly you know some people might be going well why should switch fans be excited about june 9th because hey we don't know if nintendo's participating yet in summer game fest but we do know there will be games appearing at the show that are going to be on switch Gollum, as an example is in this trailer that is a multi-platform third-party game coming to switch also hey i don't know if you've heard uh the harry potter game is supposedly coming to switch as well that's in this trailer sonic frontiers and more so I guess we'll have to wait and see because not everything's always in this trailer. Now, what is Prime Gaming Fest? Now, Prime Gaming Fest is our own event that we host where you can watch all of Summer Game Fest right here on our channel in addition to stuff that we are building around the show. So, Summer Game Fest might be starting at 1 p.m. Central Time, uh, but note that that's the official start of Summer Game Fest. We'll be live at 9 a.m. Central Time, four hours early, because we have a hell of a lot to get through ourselves. So not only can you watch us react to all of Summer Game Fest right here, all the events, all the press conferences, all the news, you don't have to go anywhere else. We also have our own event built around this. This event is going to have giveaways. It's going to have competitions. It's going to have Nate and Eric from the, the Tender Pride Podcast going at it. We're going to have special guests. We already have guests lined up for the Xbox Bethesda Conference. We have guests lined up for launch day. We have guests lined up for, well, technically Saturday as well, and we don't even know what's coming on Saturday yet. We have guests lined up right now for every single day to come on and talk gaming. We have segmented shows. We have um, special conversations. We have, obviously, fan competitions, including things like this year. We are actually going to be uh, debuting, I believe, uh, <laughs> a version of Wheel of Fortune going to be played by our fans for prizes and so much more. And we're giving away thousands of dollars worth of items all throughout either stuff that we purchased ourselves or partnered with companies for. In fact, today, I actually am really happy to show you a nice little pile of stuff for those interested in the kind of things you win. Now, these are just some of the physical items. We have more physical items coming. As an example, we'll be giving away a couple 4K Gamer Pros. If you don't know what those are, it's because they haven't actually launched yet. That's right. You can go to like join the Kickstarter for it, but the actual product isn't something you could buy and use today. And we're going to have a couple of them to give away before they even come 
out. So that's going to be really crazy that we'll be able to do that. I'm so happy to partner with the team behind that. So that's an item we don't have yet. It's actually shipping. It should be here next week, Wednesday, I believe, is is, is what the uh, the partial, parcel center will arrive. But we have other things as well. Like we partner with Ghoulie Kit uh, so we can give away a uh, King Kong 2 Pro Controller. These have been sold out. These are, for my money, the best controllers for Switch. Hall sensors, no drift. I absolutely love this controller. Uh, it's got NFC support, so you got your Amiibo support in there. It's got motion controls. It's got rumble. It's got, uh, you know, customizable buttons. It's really, really cool. Uh, turbo mode, all that. I absolutely love this controller. It's my favorite. It's my daily driver, and I'm happy to give at least one away, maybe two. I'm talking to them right now about getting my hands on another one before uh, they ship it out to retailers because, obviously, once they have to retailers, it's a free-for-all before they sell out again. Um, we showed these off before. I show them off again. We got a couple art pieces. We'll probably have a few more art pieces getting joined. We obviously got some Star Fox art here and some Pokemon art. Again, we're looking into some more stuff to join the fray for that, but those are obviously... Uh, part of it, we love um, you know highlighting art uh, during our show to give away. Uh, this is an example of one of I believe two or three of the uh, Skull and Company uh, cases will be given away. I am still in email exchanges with them to get the get uh, get them shipped out. They were actually looking to ship me a giant batch of these, so we might be able. And these are for specifically for the Switch OLED. Although you can, um, they do have a thing you can take out and use them with any Switch besides the Switch Lite. Um, and I believe they might be sending me uh, maybe even up to 10 of these to give away during our show. Uh, we have a few of them already on hand. We're still uh, working out all that to get it here in time. Um, next up, we have some of these. Uh, these are actually Switch uh, game cases. So they're kind of cool. Like this one, obviously, you know, looks like the Animal Crossing Switch. Uh, but then you could open it, and inside, it could hold a bunch of games. We've never actually... Uh, done a review on this product or anything, but these are all just little quick storages. Um, there's a little advertising paper if you care about the company. Uh, we, we got two of these to give away. Looks like you can hold what? It's one, two, three, four, five. My right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, yeah, that's uh, 60 Switch games it can hold in here, physical games. Um, obviously this one's kind of cool because it says video game collection. This one's a more artsy, you know, still in the plastic one here. Obviously, I just opened one so I can take a look at it, so I know what the hell, hell I'm giving away here. Uh, so, we got a couple of those to give away. Um, also, for you aspiring YouTubers out there, we got a couple microphones here uh, from Toner. Uh, these are great USB starter microphones. Uh, and for anyone looking to just get started in, uh, in YouTube, it's really good to have a quality mic. And while these aren't, like, top of the line, as I said... Excellent starter microphones. Uh, so, yeah, we're giving away a couple of those. I want to thank Toner uh, for enabling us to do that. Uh, now, this is what, what something we actually gave away last year, but the person who won told us, hey, you know what? Why don't you re-give it away? And that is this giant Dacket case that can carry everything. I got stuff in here right now. So, obviously, there's Switch games in a giant pouch, but uh, you can put your dock in here, the Pro Controller in here right now, um, you know, your Switch and everything. It, it can carry everything that comes with the Switch. Uh, it, it's a nice little travel case. We'll be giving that away. Now, we also have this smaller version from Evolver. Uh, this can do the same thing. It's just smaller, uh, maybe not quite as protective. I would say the Dacket one is like, hey, if you're going to go on an overseas flight, that's the one you maybe want. You're going to do more of a local flight, and you just want to bring your dock and stuff with. Maybe this one. This one could probably fit into your luggage bag. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, we'll be doing a video on that one later. Uh, also, guys, we'll be giving away... You guys know we're giving away a Switch, right? <laughs> so, obviously, we'll be giving away a Switch during the event. And so much more. We obviously have um, hundreds of games lined up already to give away. We have tons and tons of game codes. It's absolutely insane. Partnering with a ton of companies for that. Uh, and plus additional things that we'll be throwing in the pile that we haven't even purchased yet. So, I am super, super stoked for Prime Gaming Fest. Uh, again, you can win all these. They're, they'll be pretty much absolutely free to enter. There will be a select few items that will be raffle items for our members uh but otherwise everything else will be absolutely free to enter from whether it's gaming competitions whether it's just a random draw from the chat whether it's going to be through something like gleam.io whatever it is <laughs> we're giving away a lot uh so we're, we're trying to outdo what we did last year which is going to be tough uh, but we're trying to so uh there's more and more coming in we have a month to go 
to get even more stuff for you guys. We love giving back to the gaming community. We love putting smiles on people's faces. We know all of us struggle for various reasons, pandemic, family, um, just sick, various sicknesses we deal with, mental issues, everything. And my goal with Prime Gaming Fest beyond just reacting to gaming and having a good time with you guys is to bring smiles to people's faces. The whole point of the giveaways, it's not about growing the channel. It's not about, oh my gosh, you know, whatever. I lose money on this show every year. And there's a reason I lose money on this show every year. It doesn't matter how many super chats, how many donations we get. You guys go nuts sometimes. The amount of money spent on a show like this, numbers in the... Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, almost in the five figures. Uh, so that's <laughs> it's quite it's quite a bit of dough to put on this show. But we're very, very happy to do it. We're very happy for all of our partners. We're very happy for all of you. We just want to make people smile and put on the best show possible. And you know what's great about all this? If Summer Game Fest ends up being lame, that we have plans for that as well to not only keep Summer Game Fest at the front and center, but also make sure that we entertain you. If you guys saw our E3 extravaganza last year, you know what we're talking about. We will find a way to make Summer Game Fest and thus Prime Gaming Fest worth being at pretty much every single second of what's going to be 12 hour shows. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime, and I'm gonna catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.